why did you cut the video before then when you were still clearly recording? To me, that's kind of suspect on both ends. Caledonia police responded hours later with body cam video showing a different perspective. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah, because it was in his pocket and I don't want to hold on to it. That's on their body cam that they took it off of them. So, all right. The body cam shows an officer searching one of the car passengers. What's this? The charger. Huh? What's charger. the bags? The bags were empty. Caledonia police say they initially pulled the car over for speeding 18 miles per hour over the limit. I, I want to remind you guys that I do run a website and I would love for you to check it out and shop my site. I just added a new category of purses on there. This is a cute little statement piece purse that can definitely jazz up any look. And you know, I, I, I got something for the city girls too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the city girls, I got y'all on lock when you guys are going out on the nighttime, you know, enjoying the nightlife. Go to www.neekatnight.com to check out some of my new arrivals and see what is you know, something that you can add to your collection. Anyways, um, now let's jump into this scoop. So there was a brother who basically got um, a like a 10 second clip of an officer throwing something in his vehicle and it appeared to be like a plastic bag and the guy had basically caught him on his camera. But immediately when the officer started to respond, he then cut the camera at that point for our view, but he was still recording. So it was kind of manipulative, this kind of clip that was sent out. But I will play it for you guys and get your take on it. Hey, bro, what's that? What's what? That you just threw in here. What's the one word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. I got you on camera. We're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah. Hey, bro, what's that? What's what? That you just threw in here. What's the one word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. I got you on camera. We're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah. Okay. So in his caption, it says, first time ever seeing a cop try to throw some on me just to get a reason to search the car. He didn't even know I was recording, and you could tell he was nervous. Now... This is the thing that I don't like about social media is because once the officers, um, you know, you would think that somebody, if they post something like this and they post a caption like this, that they're being genuine, you know, in what they're saying and not manipulating people for a reaction. Now, once the officer released their body cam footage, you can tell that the officer clearly seen him recording way before he put the baggie in the car. Now, he made it seem like, you know, he was sneak recording. The officer didn't know that he was recording. But if you see the body cam footage, you see that he has his hand out, like, you know, with his phone recording him in visible sight of the officer way before the officer even threw that in the car. Now, once the officer threw that in the car and told him where it came from, before he told him where it came from, the guy cut the video and put just that piece up on social media. Now, when the officers showed their body cam, you can see that the boy kept recording and he even got the officer telling him where it came from. Me, I don't like to be manipulated in clips, so I feel like that was a lot of manipulation on the passenger side. You know, it is suspect for the officer to throw back, you know, paraphernalia in the car, but to me, it makes me question you as well as to why, when he gave you an explanation as to where it came from, why did you cut the video before then when you were still clearly recording? To me, that's kind of suspect on both ends. It's weird that a cop would throw the paraphernalia back in there, but after all, it was an empty bag, and the officer told him that it was an empty bag, you know? So, I don't know. My eyebrow was raised at this convers this situation once I seen the um, the actual dash cam. So let's watch it. So he's looking in the car. And as you can see, you can see him in clear view recording. Like, it's not like the, the officer can't see that.
like he can see in clear view that he's recording him. So that's the part where I was like, you know, he tried to act like the officer didn't see him, like, but you could see him recording him way before he threw something in there. Now, I'm not justifying the officer throwing anything in there because, again, I do feel like that's sus as well. But if he puts the empty bag on the top of the thing, because, you know, it's going to blow away if there's nothing in there, which it was an empty bag. But I don't know. I just looked at both sides sus. I looked at the officer sus still, like, okay, why'd you throw it in there if it was empty? And I looked at him sus as trying to manipulate a clip and cutting it where he cut it. I don't know if that was odd to me, but, like, I, again, let's, let's watch. <laughs> I got specs of green, you're good to search if you need to. <laughs> Corner cut. What's that? What's what? What's the what word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. I got you on camera, we're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah, because it was in his pocket, and I don't want to hold on to it. That's on their body cam that they took it off of him, so. You just threw that in here, bro. I got you on camera, man. I'm telling you where it came from, so. I got you on camera, bro. It's an empty baggie at the moment, too, so. Okay, buddy. Why didn't he upload the whole clip that he recorded, and why did he only get it to that part? To me, I feel like that's manipulative. Like, he knew it must have been his friends or something. But again, it's still also sus that the officer would throw it in there. It's sus on both sides to me, period. Hey, bro, what's that? What's what? That you just threw in here. What's the what word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. I got you on camera, bro. Okay. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah. Okay. And he just cut the video. But Corner on cut. here, you can see that he was still recording. So why didn't he upload the whole thing? I don't know. What's that? Okay, and when I first did this video, I had only seen one body cam video. Now that the second body cam video was released and it shows the officers taking the plastic baggie off the individual, I was right in knowing and feeling like he specifically cut it at that point on purpose. However, there is some problematic things in the second body cam video that I do not agree with. Now, I don't like to be manipulated in clips, but I also do not like how the police officers handled this quote unquote search of the individual they said that you know the people in the back seat didn't have seat belts but when the officer approaches you see he has on a seat belt also the officer asked would he be able to pat him down for weapons but then he's going in his pockets like if you're checking for weapons you don't need to be going in his pockets and then he told him that he wasn't gonna put him in handcuffs they put him in handcuffs now overall neither person was arrested they were only cited with a speeding ticket at the end of the day but it still was a very very problematic chain of command that this took place or how this took place hands where i can see him on the way out okay bud all right thank you all right, we're gonna, stand, we're gonna step this way. All right, just keep your hands where I can see them, all right, bud? All right, do you got any weapons on here or anything like that? Mind if I patch you off for weapons? Huh? I can patch you off for weapons. All right, you put your hands behind your back for me. All right. Could you mind just popping your hands like this? There you go, there you go. No weapons. I gotta get put in handcuffs. No, I'm not putting handcuffs. No weapons or anything like that on you? Mind if I just search you and everything? Why would you want to search me? Just search you, make sure you don't have any weapons on you. You good with that? Is that a yes? Mm -hmm. All right. What's this? The charger. Huh? The charger. What's the bags? Exactly All right, if you go with that for me. I was going to back I'm going to get a back What was in the bags, man? Huh? Nothing? Yeah. Oh, I'm over 
Flexing your hand for me, bud. How much money you got in your hand? Approximately. Oh, no. All of this extra stuff is for what? Like, if you are patting him down for weapons, you pat him down for weapons. Going in his pocket, asking him how much money he has, pulling out things out of his pocket. Like, you should be able to pat him down and determine... A, a cell phone charger with wired cords versus a gun or a knife. Like, you should be able to tell the two. So all of the extras within this chain of command was definitely out of pocket. Now, we can be outraged about that part, but I like to be outraged about specific part, not manipulated parts. You know what I'm saying? That part was out of, out of pocket. It was a speeding ticket. Why are you searching him in the first place? Black men also have to know your rights as well. The cop had to keep asking him, is it okay to search? Is it okay to pat you down? Because he had no probable cause to do any of those things. He had no reason to or no authority to be doing any of those things. And so a lot of guys or people in general will, uh, will allow cops to overstep their rights you know, without knowing their rights. He didn't have to agree to any type of search. There was no reason for him to do any type of search at all, period. And th this is the part that I'm mad at, you know what I'm saying? But the manipulated clip about the baggie, that kind of irritated me because he knew it was his friends and he only put that part in there because he knew it was his friends, you know? But this other part, the cops are foul as well, so I'm holding both accountable in this situation, period. Wait, wait, we're talking Probably like seven. 70 bucks. Can we have one step forward for me? Alright, at this point in time, just relax for me, bud. Put your handcuffs for right now, alright? So you don't drop it, so it doesn't get broken. How about you looking forward for me, man? Now, at the end of the day, neither party was actually arrested and taken into custody. They only got cited with a speeding ticket of going over the speeding limit. But all of that stuff was unnecessary. What are your thoughts on this whole thing? I don't know. It's a mess. But anyways, I just want to remind you guys to make sure to go to my site. This is definitely a statement, you know, purse that you, you want to add to your wardrobe. It's a super cute pair with like some cute dresses i have it paired with some of the items from my website on my website so definitely go over to www.neekatnight.com to check out some of my new arrivals and see what outfit is good for you outside again you want to shop my website get cute go out girl because we don't know how long they go keep folks inside the second go around okay so definitely go to our website, www.neekatnight.com.